It's the October break. The kids have got a few days off school and we are going to the north of Spain again. We have fallen in love with this town. It's called Gijon. Gijon? I don't know how you would pronounce it in English, but it's amazing. It's such a lovely town and we love it. So much so that, I mean, we would like to move there. <sighs> Obviously moving is so difficult and so complicated. It involves so many things, especially when you have four small children. So it, maybe it won't happen, who knows. But we're gonna at least go again. We went a few months ago and we're gonna go again and we're just gonna like have a look around and, and see things. But yeah, we, we really like it. Got the kids in the car. <laughs> We're all packed, we're ready to go, and um, we're going to stop halfway. It's John's birthday today, so he's celebrating his birthday by driving <laughs> lots, and we're going to take you along with us. So we have stopped at McDonald's, <laughs> halfway point, we're in somewhere called Valladolid, Valladolid, Valladolid. Um, this is like halfway between Madrid and Asturias, the north of Spain. Mommy, so we're going to stop here? here and have some lunch. Mommy, it's We've Vigo. We've been no, in the car for about two and a half hours. And then after this, we'll have like another two and a bit hours to go. See? Exciting. I'm starving. <laughs> Haven't had breakfast. McDonald's, but it was really yummy. <laughs> and this place is so cool. They have like a huge big play area and there's no one here. Like it's empty. We have the place to ourselves. So it's great because the kids were moaning, you know, about the car journey. So now they've been able to run about, let off steam. So hopefully now for the next two and a half hours, they'll be okay in the car. We'll see, fingers crossed. Place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. We've arrived at our, we've arrived at um, the flat. It's so nice. It's in a really nice area. So we walked a little bit around and it's lovely. And then we went shopping. We got loads of food. Um, I'll show you the flat. It's quite nice. This is the bedroom. There's two bedrooms. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be sleeping here with Luca and Alba. There's a bathroom in there, like an ensuite bathroom. And then a living room. Guys, I don't know what they're doing, but. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Living room. Another bedroom, where am I never gonna sleep? Another bathroom. And then the kitchen. The fat's fine, but the area is just really nice. I love it. It's so nice here. The next day. Today, we are going to visit a house that we can't afford, <laughs> but we're going to visit it anyway. Before we leave, we're going to go to the park that's just beside our house, and I'm going to try and do some exercise. I'm going to try and run. Apparently, loads of people run by this park, and then John is going to take the kids to the park and play with them while I'm doing some exercise. So, yeah. so I remember this park because one time we stayed here and well, yeah, we always went to that park. It's true, we came here in, I think it was April we were here last. And I mean, this area, Gijon, is very small. So it doesn't really matter where you stay, you're always going to be quite near the park. <laughs> so um, 
we went to that park the last time we were here as well. The kids are going crazy. I don't know if it's because we're in a new place or we're on holiday, but they're just very excited and very, yeah, just very excited. <laughs> this house is basically, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. Well, it is in the middle of nowhere, but it's, you know, complete countryside. There are some donkeys there. <laughs> the house is up here. But it's 10 minutes from the centre of town because that's what this place is like. Literally, you have like the centre of town right next to complete countryside. It's so small, you know, so just everything is is next to each other. So the house was really nice, but maybe we're not so country. <laughs> maybe we want some to live somewhere a bit closer to the city centre. Again, like, Gijon is so tiny, so even that house that was totally in the countryside, it, it's, it was 10 minutes away from here. This is the city centre. The beach is in the city centre. So anyway, now we've come to the beach. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like 27, 28 degrees today and loads of people have come to the beach. This is it. This is Gijon city centre on the beach. It's lovely. This feels very weird. It's like mid-October and we're on the beach. <laughs> it's crazy. I associate the beach with July, August, not mid-October and definitely not in the north of Spain. The north of Spain is renowned for being like really cold, it rains all the time. Never in a million years um, would I have imagined us to be sitting on the beach, mid-October, in the north of Spain, kids in swimsuits, like, I mean, it's boiling, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's lovely though. The next day. This is a normal day in the north of Spain. <laughs> this is a normal day in Asturias. Grey skies, raining a little bit, like, the north of Spain is like this, you know? It's, it's slightly better weather than back home in Scotland. But they say there's constant grey skies. John doesn't mind that at all. In London it's kind of like that as well. And he grew up there and he likes that kind of weather. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I find that it stops you from doing things. Like today we're just in the house. John's out visiting schools. We're going to visit a house later on. The two schools that he's going to see, he loves them. He says they're amazing. But obviously, if the weather were nicer, then I could take the kids out to the park. But you can't, because it's spitting and it looks like it's gonna chuck it down. So that's the one thing, you know? I think I'm just, I'm too used to the nice weather in Madrid. Like in Madrid, it does rain. It has its times where it, it rains quite a lot, but it's also, sunny a lot and you can normally go out to the park almost every day so today just in the house watching tv while john's away out doing his visits i've put a load of washing on i had to use the tumble dryer because here you can't really hang your clothes out whereas in madrid i would just hang them out in the garden and then half an hour they're dry it's different i suppose it's a different way of life but John really likes it. He really likes the people. The people are nice. They're really nice here and the schools are nice and so who knows? Who knows? Very stressful. There's a lot to do if you want to move regions with four small children. It involves so much. So maybe it'll be too much for us. This is just the first step, you know, having a look, investigating everything. But what we have seen is really nice because it's so small. I mean, you can literally be in complete country, mountains, and then you get in your car and five minutes later, you are in the city centre. And three minutes later, you're on the beach. <laughs> so it's like, there's not many places that have everything. Countryside, mountain, beach, city centre, all of it within such a small radius, which is pretty amazing to be able to access all that within five minutes in the car. That's really cool. And it's really nice, you know, for your children to be brought up with all of that at their fingertips. It's 
in a Mayan Eva, as they always do, they've got their space and they're playing their Barbies. Whenever we come to any house or hotel, they find their little space, their, their little corner, and they, they make it their own. <laughs> and they're capable of playing for hours and hours and hours, which is great. I think it's great. Come guys. This is really lovely, this big window that looks out. Because these are like blocks of flats, you know. But it's, a, it's a nice area where we are. Tonight, we're having movie night! Here we go. Popcorn and crisps. Back home, I never let them eat in the living room because I don't want them to dirty it. But because we're in an Airbnb, I'm like, we can have movie night and we can eat in the living room. I'll tidy up after, I'll hoover after. But... I'm not as anal my, my since we're not in our own house. We're gonna watch Bluey, I think. I'm watching the Disney Channel. The next day. Because it's raining, we've come to like a shopping centre and it's really cool because it's like like an old train station. So here you have all the shops, but then up at the top, it's as if it's an old train station. It looks really cool. Look who's playing. John has gone to a trampoline park with the girls, but uh, Luca couldn't get any. He's too small. He's got to be four, and he isn't four until two weeks' time. And we said, but he's almost four. Please let him in. And they said, no. Sorry. Dookie, mira me. Wow, que chuli. Mira me. John took a nine ever on a scooter ride and I stayed here making dinner with the two young ones. It was really nice, they liked it. And that's it, tomorrow we're up early and we're off home. It's been a nice few days but I'm exhausted, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like, going away with your family is really nice in theory but it doesn't matter what you do before kids, like it's, it's just freaking exhausting. I'm just exhausted. That's the good thing about when you're at home in your routine because they go to school and when they're at school, you relax. It's not like I relax, but I get stuff done. It's just tiring to be around children 24 seven. That's why the holidays are always really hard. Anyway, that's the holiday over. Tomorrow we're going home, back to school, back to routine. And back to reality. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye, Asturias. Bye, Gijón. Bye, Fluvial Park. <laughs> bye, bye, bye.